getting all nice and close with you guys today. I'm sorry. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit something different than what I normally do. I saw a lot of trends like these going on on YouTube right now where people buy products that are knockoff products or just cheap products from either eBay or Amazon. Now I am going to try out some products that I got online and all of these are lip products except for one brush. So <laughs> I didn't purchase really any eye products and mainly lip products because one, I love lipstick, like I am a lipstick hoarder. And two, I'm kind of iffy about trying stuff that goes onto my eyes that's kind of from like sketchy, really cheap companies that are on eBay and everything. So lipstick probably isn't as much better, but whatever. Um, I am going to do the stuff that I got on Amazon first and then I'm going to do the stuff from eBay and everything from eBay is knockoff products that are like by companies that are pretty popular as I am too broke to buy the actual products which is why I'm buying the cheap products on eBay. So we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna link everything below too. I can't guarantee that's all gonna be there. So the first thing that I have is from Amazon and it is this fan brush. So I'm going to use my fan brush to apply some of my highlighter. This is from Star Crushed Minerals and it's in the shade Ice Queen. So I'm going to take this color. I use this one a lot. I always get lots of compliments on it. So we're gonna see if the fan brush does it justice. But I'm gonna dip my fan brush into there and I can see some product. Um, I feel so professional. Oh yeah, that definitely works. You can see it really well there. So I don't know if you could see it in this line. I'm gonna move my head around a bit, but oh yeah, you could totally tell that it works really well. Yeah, this brush is really good, and I think it was like a dollar. So yeah, that really did bring my highlight game up today. So good job to this fan brush. 10 out of 10 for me. Cool. And I am going to use my next product from Amazon, which is, it's called Jelly Lipstick, and it is from New Pinsinko. It's I think this was like a dollar, and I got in number two blue. I saw it on like a BuzzFeed article that was like recommending like lipsticks or like products that are a dollar on Amazon. Oh, well, this one got fairly good reviews. There were some, of course, you're gonna get some like that are not so good. Um, so this is what the little tube looks like. It's clear and it has a little flower on the inside. This is the shade blue, like I said, and I read online that this is supposed to change with like the pH balance of your lips so everyone has a different lip color. Um, it's not supposed to be matte. It looks kind of glossy. I don't know. And it smells like perfume. Like it smells perfumey. It smells good. Not like very overpowering, but it does smell really good. So I'm just gonna put this on my lips and we'll give it a couple seconds to see if it actually does something. I don't know, but here we go. Wow. <laughs> that did a thing. That did a thing. Wow. It's not really a color that I would go for. It is like kind of like pinkish color, but I mean, I like it and it feels really hydrating on my lips it it's really nice and I like it yeah so this is what it looks like I'll come a little bit closer I'm sorry that I'm so close but yeah I mean it's just something where it's like if I have nothing to do or if I'm like in a rush I'll just put that on really quick and it's a good summer color too since summer's coming up so and the last thing that I got from Amazon is a kit I don't remember how much this was um, I don't remember how I found this either I think it might have just been a search but it is this called QI Best Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have the shade 628 and I went a little adventurous and I got the gray one. So if I look like a freak, you'll know why. This is the lip liner. It came with it. It's in like a two pack. It's like a knockoff $1 Kylie lip kit. So we're going to give this a shot. This is what the pencil looks like. I'm going to line my lips with this really quick. Not expecting silvery. Okay, so this is what the lip liner looks like. It just looks okay. I mean, I didn't try that hard either, so I'm not gonna give a really good opinion about it. I, I'm more worried about like the actual lip cream or lip, I don't know, whatever this is. It really looks very similar to the NYX soft matte ones. Alright, so we're gonna try the 
actual lip cream now. I look like an alien, but here we go. I'm gonna go in for another dip. Kinda smells like baby powder, doesn't have really a bad scent to it, but I, I'm digging this, yo. It kinda looks a little greenish, I don't know if it's just me, I'm sensing a little bit of green. Oh my lord. And it dried really quick, um, it's kinda really sticky, like, I don't know if it's because it's drying or what, but it's still pretty sticky, so like when I go like this, my lips stick together, do you see that? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Well, I feel like it would stay on really well. It's just really sticky, which, and like even I feel like the corners of my mouth sticking together while I'm talking. So that's a kind of downside thing. It doesn't really dry that well, but yeah, I mean, I would still try it out. I mean, I'm not disappointed with it. I mean, for a dollar, it's not that bad, but I feel like it's getting stickier. Like I feel like it's getting stickier as I'm talking. So I don't know. All right, so that didn't stain my lips too bad either. I was worried that with the makeup remover it would stain my lips. I could see it staining your lips if you let it wear out. And so the next few things are actually all from eBay. I have three products that are from eBay. So we're gonna start with this melted matte that's from Too Faced. I feel like the boxes are the actual boxes. I mean, it's really simple for someone to take the actual product out and then put the actual fake product in. And this one, I do have an actual melted matte lipstick. It's not the same color. It's in the shade Unicorn. This is a real Too Faced melted lipstick. Okay, so the bottom one is the fake one. And I can kind of tell that it's fake because the writing is kind of rubbing off a bit, but I don't know if that's from the actual physical bottle or not. They look pretty similar. They look like they're good dupes for each other. So we're gonna give this one a shot. This is in the shade Sellout. So, I mean, we'll give it a shot. I don't know. The actual applicators aren't too different either. This one does look a little bit thinner. Yeah, a lot thinner. So that's a giveaway right there. The unicorn one, the actual one, like the actual Too Faced one, smells kind of chemically. Like it smells more chemically than the other one. This one smells like a Milani lipstick. It smells like how Milani lipsticks smell, and if you don't know, those smell like kind of cupcake-y. That's weird. <laughs> so I had to cut the video short, and it is the next day. My eyeliner is uneven, just ignore that. So I'm going to put on this melted lipstick. thing I'm noticing is that the applicator is really really thin and like this part is very like thin plasticky like the stick part like I feel like if I press down hard enough I can easily break the applicator in half which I mean is fine but it's just kind of annoying all right so that is what this sellout lipstick color looks like on my lips it looks pretty fine I'll get a little bit closer it looks fine I mean it dried matte pretty quickly it's not really sticky like that other one was. I don't know if it's gonna get any more sticky, but it's it's nice, it's a nice color. It's a good summer color. I have nothing really bad to say about it. It smells really good, like I could still smell it on my lips, but it's not like overpoweringly smelly, you know? <laughs> 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, so my next two products are my last two that I bought on eBay, and they are both um, knock off Jeffree Star lipsticks and I don't actually own a Jeffree Star lipstick. The boxes look like they can be legit Jeffree Star boxes. You can't, it's not really focusing that well, but I got the shade Androgyny and Celebrity Skin. They kind of look kind of similar. This one's a more nudish color. This one's a more dark brown. We're going to start with Celebrity Skin first and I will take it out of its box. And this is what the actual tube looks like. It has the Jeffree Star logo. It's kind of in a rose gold-ish font. It has the stars on the top and everything, and it says Celebrity Skin on the bottom. So we will try this out and see how it looks. It has a scent to it, but it's like a more fresh scent. Like it kind of smells like a plant. I can't really explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not gonna even try to explain it because if I do, it's not gonna sound anything like how it actually smells. Okay, so 
this is what one coat of it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like up close. It's drying fairly quickly. It felt like kind of powdery-ish, like while it was drying. Um, I might try one more coat of this because I, I don't know. I feel like I just want to try one more coat of this just to see what it looks like. So I just put on another coat really quick. I just did it on my bottom lip and then just rubbed my lips together to bring it onto the top. And I, I like the second coat. I think that really helped out a lot. I'm noticing that the corners of my mouth are kind of sticking together while I'm talking, which is kind of annoying. Um, it's getting a lot more stickier as it's drying. So no, I, I mean, I would still wear these out in public. I would still try them. It's just, I don't really like lipstick that's really sticky. Um, it's kind of uncomfortable and I'm not a fan of it, so. But I really like the shade and I hope maybe once it's officially dried it might um, not be as sticky anymore. So I totally concealed over my lips. The next one I'm going to use is the Androgyny one from the Jeffree Star knockoff set. And I'm going to try this on my lips. Um, this one also has that rose gold color. I'm not sure if that's something that Jeffree has on all of his lipsticks. We will give it a go. This one has absolutely no scent at all to it. It does not smell like anything. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but it's just something I've never seen before. It's like a pinkish, nudish color. It's kind of drying a little bit up there, but yeah. I did put a thicker amount on because I feel like it needs a thicker amount. So it feels very, very thin when you put it on. It's fairly sticky, but I mean, it's still drying, so it's kind of hard to say. But I really like this one. It's a good one. I kind of preferred this color over the Celebrity Skin one. I feel like this is a more natural one that I can wear just going out shopping or something like that. So this is a great shade. I think my favorite product out of all the ones that I purchased would probably be this Melted Matte one because it really felt really good on my lips. It wasn't too drying, wasn't too sticky, and it had a great scent to it. I think it was a great dupe. I think this is a really good price. It's only like a dollar and I really, really like it. This might be something that I might look into the other shades and purchase some of the other shades. If you guys want, I can make another video like this because it's fairly cheap. I have the Wish app and I know a lot of people have been purchasing products from the Wish app and they will try the products that way. So I can always do that as well. If you guys have any type of recommendations for videos you want me to make and it can be about Disney, it can be about whatever I just did, I don't, it doesn't really matter. Um, just let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to do that for you. And I hope you guys have a great week and a magical day and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.